explanation is in order. We kind of thought when we took a break that our place was filled overnight by Louis Walsh's new band, you know. And uh, to look at them on stage, they dressed the same, they done the same little movements that boys on did, you know. And they were like clones, basically. A lot of people call them clones of boys on. Even the normally diplomatic Ronan Keating agrees the Westlife lads aren't as individual as they could be. If they haven't been around long enough, really, I suppose people to have their individuality, like sporty or whatever. To be honest, unless they're seen in a group, people don't really know. You know, that, that happened to boys on for like three or four years. And it was a long time before people actually started to recognise us on our own or gave us, you know, individuality in the band. So it'll take the guys a while, but they'll definitely have it, and they're all great talent. So is there any point in Boyzone coming back with Westlife doing so well? It's a very difficult game they're playing at the moment, you know? Yeah. It took us probably three and a half, four years to even get one number one. And there was a gradual climb, and it's eventually a climb that when you get there, <laughs> you're there because you have a solid foundation that you spent years on building and supporting. And eventually, you know what I mean, you're there and you respect it, you deserve it. I'm not saying they don't deserve it, don't get me wrong, they'd be very lucky. But when you climb the ladder of success so fast, the only one place to go when you're at the top of the ladder and that's back, back down, down again. again.